For efficient design, we need to ensure that all the servers are facing the same way, so that they all suck cold air in the front and blow hot air out of the back. Otherwise, the exhaust of one server will be sucked into the inlet of another server. We need to therefore also ensure that floor grills are only installed where cooling is required. In this case, only at the front of the servers, not at the exhaust side, not in open areas, or in front of empty racks. We also need to ensure that the airflow through the grills are balanced. Otherwise, the grills nearest the crack units will vent all the cold air, and the rear units will receive very little. The grills need to be located near the front of the servers, otherwise the cold air will bypass them and head straight back to the crack unit. The void needs to be kept clear of objects and unused cables, which will otherwise obstruct the flow of air. When several rows of servers are installed, then the problem occurs where the hot exhaust of one row of servers is sucked into the next. The temperature increases with each row, which is very inefficient. We would need to provide even cooler air just to keep the final server cool enough. Obviously, this wouldn't be very efficient. So instead, we arrange the rows so that they are facing front to front and back to back. This way, we only provide cold air to the front of the servers and the hot exhaust isn't sucked into another server. This creates hot and cold aisles. We need to ensure that empty spaces in the servers are filled with blanking plates. This will prevent warm exhaust air from recirculating. Additionally, the fans in the server racks will cause a negative pressure region at the front of the server, and this can draw warm exhaust air down, which can then be recirculated back into the server. For existing data centers, one of the best designs is to use cold aisle containment. This is where the cold aisle is covered with a roof and the end of the aisles are sealed with doors. This puts a physical barrier between the aisles to prevent mixing and recirculation. Newer data centers will likely use hot aisle containment. In this design, cold air fills the room and the hot exhaust air is contained and separated with a ceiling. This air is then drawn back into the crack units. Check out one of these videos to continue learning about engineering and I'll catch you there for the next lesson. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.